Okay, so uh, I know I'm beating a dead horse, as they might say, um, while talking on this subject. But, you know, since uh, this is something that unfortunately is going to go on uh, till the end of time because, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately evil keeps existing and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, this uh, theme will never go away. But this one is uh, actually old news. Uh, I'm talking about the Balenciaga scandal. Now, I'm not going to go into the details that everyone already knows, because um, I've talked about it, everyone else has talked about it, but um, uh, here's uh, why I'm talking about it, because uh, no one talks about it anymore, and the people that have talked about it, uh, some of them, uh, they talked about it for, you know, for views, for... Um, to uh, get uh, those clicks and all that stuff, the clickbait and all that shit. So yeah, I haven't really thought of this subject, but then I saw um, a man in, uh, in a train uh, when I was uh, going back home from seeing uh, Megadeth, Benediction, Corporate Clan, you know, those other bands. So yeah, I saw this man, he had a Balenciaga bag, now granted, I wasn't going to go up to him and start humiliating him just because of the brand of his bag. Because who knows, uh, that man could have been uh, unaware of uh, the dark side of the brand. So uh, yeah, this is what's been bugging me about the whole situation. Um, like I said, the uh, YouTubers, I remember there was this one bitch uh, who, uh, you know, she was talking about it and then all of a sudden like, oh, you want earrings like these ones, these ones, and uh, first of all, they were retarded ass earrings, uh, shapes of uh, little ducks that the little kids use for, uh, for the bath time and shit. And, um, yeah, then, I don't know, some other retarded shit like that. And, yeah, uh, and she was never talking about it like if it was, um, like if she was disgusted by it. Now, there are people who uh, have talked about it and expressed disgust, you know, like Paul Joseph Watson. I may not agree with him, may not even want to be friends with him. No offense, Paul. But, uh, you know, with this man, I can um, agree on a lot of things and have a pleasant conversation with him. And uh, I think there was this uh, girl or woman, because I don't know how old she is. She was talking about uh, exactly the same situation, the people uh, behind it involved. And... Yeah, she also expressed disgust and also disgust at the fact that they are associating uh, paganism, Satanism, and all that with uh, these uh, people. You know, Lord of Okova, uh, Galimberti, and all those other individuals. And so the topic at hand, what bothered me was that uh, despite... Uh, no, sorry, wrong word. So after um, everyone has talked about it and shit, and no one has talked about it ever again, nothing came of it. No one got arrested, no one got killed. Uh, you know, no one um, was held responsible for uh, revealing who the culprit was. So, you know, everything, it just got swept under the fucking rug, man. So, yeah, uh, I was thinking, like, uh, hey, uh, maybe Gallimberti will get arrested. Maybe he was a culprit behind this. And I'm saying this because of that tweet he said where if uh, CP is illegal, then uh, 
uh, guns should also be legal. I don't know how that, um, you know, goes into the same boat. You know what I mean? Lord of Volkova, um, she wasn't questioned, arrested, or, or anything. Didn't give an interview or anything. I have yet to find out how, um, what kind of voice this woman has. And yeah, her Instagram, I remember she uh, put it on private after the whole scandal came out. And now it's, um, you know, back on, um, you know, public, for public viewing and shit. And yeah, just regular pictures of her in uh, clothing and smiling and shit and some creepy pictures of like bondage parties and all that stuff, people dressed in gimp suits. But, you know, nothing with teddy bears or anything like that. I think maybe she took down those uh, creepy pictures. Or uh, that man married to uh, Salma Hayek. Uh, who had a website where he sells dummies that look like children and with, uh, you know, cocks uh, for noses. So, you know, all of those red flags, all of that creepy shit swept under the fucking rug. And the reason why I say it still keeps going because of what happened uh, not so long ago. This year, actually, a few months ago, um, that whole business with that movie, uh, The Sound of Freedom, where the AC stopped working, uh, the alarm went off, everyone had to leave, no one was able to see the movie. <clears throat> so yeah, everyone all uh, comfy uh, seeing the motherfucking Barbie movie, uh, but, uh, you know, for Sound of Freedom... Uh, or are they so fucking afraid of that uh, you're not letting anyone see it? So yeah, look, I'm not gonna say that these two things are connected, Balenciaga and Sound of Freedom. Uh, not the movie, the whole uh, mess with the movie. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was, if they were connected, because, uh, you know, it's some creepy shit. The Balenciaga thing uh, being forgotten about and then Sound of Freedom that they didn't want anyone to see the movie in in theaters. So, uh, you know, it's uh, that question that uh, Paul Joseph Watson uh, was asking in this video. What are they so fucking afraid of? So, yeah, I guess that's it for me. Uh, I'm out.